Today, we have something really special for you. And that is over the last two months, we set out to make the best quality boot possible, while at the same time using some of the world's most well-known components that are known for their quality. For those new to this channel and to the Jim Green brand, we really well known for making great value for money boots. But for the sake of this video and for us to play around with different materials, we've gone all out with this pair of boots where cost doesn't matter at all. We thought this process would be fairly simple, but along the way we encountered many hurdles and as a result we ended up creating Africa's most expensive boot. We're now going to go through each component step by step and we're going to explain to you the problems we encountered along the way. There is going to be a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned and later on we'll let you know how to win a custom made pair of Jim Green boots in the Halloween Chrome XL brown leather. To kick things off, we're going to start with the two biggest components that make up a boot. And it just so happens that these two components were the ones that gave us the biggest headaches. So in front of me, I have some Vibram soles in the red color, and it's a really great story how we ended up with this uh, pair of soles. So when we started out, we decided one of the world's most well-known sole makers, Vibram. Let's try and contact them and see if they have any distribution here in South Africa. And after many emails and many calls, we managed to find two chaps that, that claimed to stock Vibram soles. And when we told them what we're going to be doing and if we could purchase a few sets from them, they told us that they weren't happy to supply us. So this may raise a few uh, questions in our head and we actually wondered if these Vibram soles were even legit. So as there are no distributors of Vibram here in South Africa, we then tried to reach out to Vibram International and obviously only wanting to buy a handful of soles for this uh, experiment and to make up some samples, we didn't get any response back. Then I did remember that we have a long time customer of ours that we often chat to on Instagram and he reached out to us a few months ago and he said that he had uh, acquired some Vibram soles from the US and he wanted us to make up a pair of boots for him. That conversation did go dead but luckily I kept him in mind and I got, got in touch with him and today we have his Vibram soles in front of us and he will be uh, the first owner of uh, Africa's most expensive pair of boots ever made. So this pair of Vibram soles, he paid 28 US dollars for it, excluding shipping and duties. So shipping alone to South Africa is quite a large expense. Uh, given the fact that our postal service has uh, basically collapsed, you have to make use of a, of a private courier company. So shipping can range from you know, anywhere from 30 to, to 50 US dollars just to, get the, just to get an item to South Africa. Now the next biggest issue is that importing textile raw materials into South Africa comes with a 30% import duty. So now you're paying the cost of the soles, the cost to bring them into South Africa, and then you get whacked with a 30% import duty on top of that. So obviously this is just referring to one set of soles. If we were to take this quite seriously and, and try to import you know, a couple hundred or a thousand of Vibram soles, I'm sure we'll be able to get hold of someone at the company that can assist us. Of recent, we have been chatting with Dr. Sol for a potential upcoming project. So hopefully all goes to plan then we're able to source some of those at an affordable price. Now moving on to the leather. What we managed to source is a Halloween Chrome XL from the USA. As we've been selling internationally for the last two years, we have become familiar with various brands and this is one option that I've always wanted to see and get my hands on. The downside is that this leather, by the time we paid for international shipping, duties and charges, it came out at 10 times the price of our standard leather that we use here at the factory. So once again, adding to the, the costs which give us Africa's most expensive boot. As we set out to make the best boot possible, we didn't just simply want to make a Feli or Chaka boot. So what we're going to be doing today, and with some of the requests from our loyal customer, is we're going to be doing a variation on our Baobab boot. Now our Baobab boot uses the most amount of leather out of any in our range. So now, as we're going to be adding a toe cap, this boot is not one, not two, but three layers of leather around your toe. So in front of me, we've got the lining, you've got the vamp, and then we've got the toe cap, giving you close on seven millimeters of leather. 
As for the rest of the boots, these materials were a lot easier to source as they all came from South Africa and we found it not necessary to import any of them. We've gone for a calfskin lining which can be found on all our double lasted boots. The midsole is in a five millimeter veg tan lasting board with another five millimeter veg tan and a resin runner. Now, there's been a few questions why we use a resin runner and that is because when we stick rubber to a resin runner it sticks really well whereas if you go rubber straight onto the leather there's a high chance of the sole delaminating. This all then comes together with a red stitch that's going to tie nicely with our Vibram red sole. And as we're trying to make the best boot possible we would have loved to have used our traditional green laces but as we're playing around with some leather lace options we'll be going with a brown leather lace which we also think will tie in quite nicely because the red soles do make quite a statement already. So this whole process has been a little bit confusing talking it through, but in a couple of days time when we release our custom boot of the week, this will be the boot where you can follow it step by step through the production process in the factory. One of the requests by our loyal customer was that he wanted the Horween USA uh, somewhere visible on the boots. And because this boot is fully leather lined, he actually wasn't able to, to see this. So what we've done is we've cut this out and we're gonna sew it onto the tongue of the boot so that when he opens it up on one of the feet, he will see, he'll see the name there. So the big question on everyone's mind is how much would you pay for this exact pair of boots? Now this isn't an exact number as we haven't been buying in bulk, but we estimate that we would retail this boot anywhere between 450 to 550 US dollars. Another downside to using imported materials is that we lose our duty-free export rights. So if a boot is 100% made in South Africa and over 65% of your raw materials are locally sourced, we actually get duty-free exports to, to many countries, including the USA. So now what's actually happening is that we're bringing in soles and leather, paying a 30% import duty, manufacturing the shoes here, and then when we send them off again, we then have to pay for shipping to these countries, and then we'll pay duties and taxes when they arrive back in those countries. So overall, it just isn't viable for us to do something like this. So now, how can you win yourself a pair of boots valued at plus minus 500 US dollars? All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, like this video, and then in the comment section below, leave a comment there on what you think about us importing raw materials and if you think it's worth it. And then if you were to win, which custom made boot would you opt for? Of recent, we've had some spammers attacking our channel for these free giveaways. So we will only reach out to you through our Jim Green official YouTube channel. And if you're unsure of anything, please reach out to us before committing to anything. So I've been speaking far too long now. So let's get these raw materials down into the factory and let's see how this boot comes out. So the boots have just come out the factory and they are looking better than I'd even expected. Originally, when we were only given the option to work with a red Vibram sole, I was a little bit hesitant to tie it in with this Horween uh, Chrome XL. But now that we've pulled the boots up, there's definitely a, a reddish undertone to this leather. And it all ties together with the red stitching as well. Another thing to note is that this toe, as we mentioned, there's almost seven mils of leather in the toe box. To actually feel it in hand, it almost feels like there's a steel toe cap in this boot. So there's definitely gonna be a couple of miles of, of breaking this boot in, and I'm really interested to see how this uh, leather ages with time. One issue that we did come across uh, when manufacturing is that the Vibram sole isn't quite made to fit our last. So this was a really, really tight fit in certain areas. Fortunately, we managed to pull it off and this is gonna be a, a, a nice finish off to this boot. To wrap it up, let's run through this plus minus $500 boot. And at the end, let us know if you would pay this amount of money for a boot that looks like this. So from the top to the bottom, We've got the brown Chrome XL Horween leather from the USA. The lining is our own in-house calfskin lining that the boot is fully leather lined. The customer did request for the, the Horween USA uh, stamp to be somewhere visible on the boot, which we've put on the tongue. We've then got the leather laces, which are made here in the factory. 
We then got our standard heavy duty uh, eyelets. The customer did request for eyelets the whole way down rather than having the speed hooks on the top. Then the spec that I really love about this boot is the red stitching and there's gonna be three rows of red stitching in various areas of the boot. And this all comes together and ties in nicely with the red Vibram sole. Vibram sole was imported from the USA. The outsole and the upper is then met together with 10 millimeters of veg tan leather and then you can see our black uh, resin runner. So we've obviously been seeing this whole process unfold over the last few weeks and realize that it's not viable for us to make a boot of this spec with imported products. So what we've already started doing is actually chatting with our tannery that we use, our sole supplier, and we're actually putting together a boot that is gonna be 100% made and sourced in South Africa. So we're gonna be avoiding all the duties and charges that this boot unnecessarily has on top of it. And we're gonna try and bring to you something as close to this spec as possible. And while keeping within our standard Jim Green value for money price points. So thanks once again for watching. And don't forget there is a giveaway in this video where you can win a custom made pair of Jim Green boots of your choice in this exact brown Horween Chrome XL leather. All you have to do is like this video and leave your comment below. And we'll see you on our next episode.